Our group name is Space Avengers, and our project is about finding study spots around the University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana. The university students were facing a problem of finding study spots based on their preferences. So in order to overcome this, we teamed up with the library staff and we made a web application where the users can find study spots based upon their preferences. And we also made a user interface for the library department so that they can add or update the existing study spot features into the database. We named our project Illini Spatio and we divided it into two parts, front-end and the back-end. Let's start looking at the features of the front-end and the back-end. So this is the main website. As you can see on the right side, you have the list of all the study spots. When you click on one of them, you get the images of the study spot and all the details in it, like the working hours, location, nearby bus stops. And we also have some information for the users like whether there is like printing nearby or food court whether the study spot has comfortable seating and everything you can even report a problem by clicking a report a problem the main advanced feature of the front end is actually the search function say if you want to find a study spot which has info desks in it type in info it gives you all the study spots which has info desk in it. As you can see, the main library has information desk and it is shown in the results. When it comes to the back end, it's usually run by the administrators of the library department. You can add new study spots by clicking add. As you can see, I'm trying to add a new study spot named Siebel Room 777 give the location and the features of that study spot and all the images of the study spot can be uploaded here and click save and this will add that particular study spot into the existing database as you can see the Siebel room 777 is add being added into the list of the study spots The installation for this project is clearly mentioned in our final documentation. Once again, I thank you one and all for watching this video.